it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a change of a day. And we're not going anywhere! <laughs> yes! <Woo. laughs> so it is Monday. We have been here at Centre Park's Warrior since Friday. And today would ordinarily be the day that we were packing up and shipping off home. But no, because this is our seven day trip. It feels so good. It does, and can you just tell that Harper has decided to start drinking water as soon as the cameras come out? Yeah, so we are saying goodbye today. Oh, that sounds like a eulogy, like we're saying goodbye today to... So Tina and Gary are heading home today. They are not staying for the full seven days, but we've had a nice weekend with them here. Yeah. So they're checking out, leaving us in the same lodge through until Friday. So we've still got four more full days here, and we are gonna make the most of it. So today, our plan is to go swimming, probably like between nine and 10. Gonna get there when it's hopefully really quiet when everyone else is sadly packing up and getting home. And then when we come back, we're gonna spend a bit of time relaxing in the lodge because we expect that the site will be really busy over lunchtime with cleaning going on and all of that. We don't wanna get in the way or feel like it's taken away from the relaxation. So instead, we're gonna come back to the lodge and do a bit of Home baking with Dave? Yes, home disasters with Dave is probably more, um, <laughs> more likely. But I'm going to give it a go, and I have done it before, so yeah, yeah let's see. And then later today, we are going to go back to the sports cafe, and maybe I'll do the ordering just to make sure that Dave gets his spicy loaded fries. I'm a bit traumatised actually, because obviously I was so excited to have spicy loaded fries. Yeah, still not over it. And then this evening, we are booked to go and do the big family quiz. Um, I have checked, it is happening today on Monday, because it was also happening yesterday, which was confusing. But So Monday in the Leisure Bowl at Warrior We have made that mistake before that we thought we had, well, we did book it here um, when we were here at Christmas. And we went merrily off to the sports cafe and then found out, oh no, we were in the wrong place. And we were late and it was just, it was not merrily at all. We were literally basically running down there because yeah. we had unpacked the car, got it all back, and then it was like, oh yeah, rushed down and we'd rushed past where we needed to be, <laughs> yeah. which we could have got to with enough time and yeah, ended yeah. up at the thing. But it yeah. wasn't meant to be that time, was it? No, so Leisure Bowl for the Big Family Quiz. At the other sides, it is done in the sports cafe, so I think we're allowed to make that mistake. We'll make it once and hopefully, hopefully never again.
we, we obviously had got a little bit carried away going down for swimming at nine because it doesn't open till 10. Whoopsie. <laughs> was it maybe during COVID that it opened at nine of a weekend? I can't remember. Yeah. That, but not today anyway. No. So we went and had a little Starbucks and then we went straight in at 10. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. It's always worth if you are here on that change over day or if you um, are coming in, first thing you can do if you get here at 10 o'clock, get in that pool. Yes. Or if you like planning on spending the day here on checkout day, try and get the car back and get there for opening time. Yeah, 100%. We popped into the park market, got the essential supplies. Cadbury's cream egg. Yeah. And that was essential apparently. And? Oh yeah. I was thinking, and what? And these. <laughs> And we've got this bread today, just in case anyone's interested in the bread content. I don't think I've ever had this bread before, have you? No. But I do like tiger bread, so I'm excited to try it out. Is this the content you're here for? Yeah. But I'm going to live my best life today, as I'm now going to get to relax whilst Dave is bringing us the much anticipated home baking with Dave. Now. <laughs> I've never done anything like this before on this channel and it may not surprise you but I'm not really very good at baking but I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to make this bread, although we haven't actually got all of the equipment we really need here but we're just going to improvise and see what we can do. So the one thing I did bring from home was this bread tin. <laughs> Is it going well? No. <laughs> oh. I wonder if I'll get any job offers after this. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, if it does go terribly wrong, there are some places on site where you can go and get food without booking reservation. So the sports cafe, Starbucks, you've got the canopy cafe in the pool, and then all the other ones might do walk-ups, depending how busy it is. How's it going, Mary Berry? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> now that is beautiful, isn't it? It's very good. It smells amazing. The, the smell is incredible, isn't it? <laughs> Not something that is usually said on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> So I ended up buying another two of the uh, Centre Parks 2024 pins because um, so many people commented on my previous long leap video where I did a little pin giveaway. But that video, video did get so many comments, which was really nice. And I was like, oh gosh. Um, so that's three people who have just done the prize draw thing using technology. Um, and yeah, so I messaged those people. Hopefully they will respond and I can send them their own little personal dust collectors. Dave will be delighted that there's not more coming back to the house of us. Yes, I'm glad they're not going to be in our house any longer. So I hope <laughs> everyone else enjoys them. <laughs> so yeah, but again, thank you for those comments. And even though like, I'm not going to do any draw pen thing on this video, but st do still leave comments because we both really, really enjoy the comments. Whether or not it'll be asking us questions or our views and opinions on Centre Parks related stuff or just like sharing the love, sharing the excitement for Centre Parks because we do of course love it. But yeah. <laughs> so how has the changeover day experience been for you? Relaxing. We still haven't had any fondue, not that we're thinking about it now. God, look, I feel like I'm done with food a little bit. It will Until change. When? It will change. Normal me will resume. <laughs> By tomorrow at the latest, I'm sure.
Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my legs. Yeah. You alright? Not just my legs. <laughs> Your plums? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we're here for the speed quiz. Starts at seven, it's in the Leisure Bowl. Our seats have been placed right in front of the kids area, which is now closed, thankfully. Yeah, because when they first sat us here, there were kids playing in there. And yeah. I don't know why, but we just seem to get shit seats yeah. wherever we sat somewhere. Yeah. Like, uh... So we got the drinks, Dave's got a large Shiraz, I got a UV cocktail with no UV light here, but it's got rum in it and that came to £17 in total. But yeah, the quiz is due to start hmm, in 10 minutes maybe. We need to think of a quiz name. Have you thought of anything? Was no, it... It, look, it stresses me out trying to think of quiz names and stuff. Like, I'm not, not a fan. No. So we've got a team name sorted. Well, who are we? We are the Spicy Fries. We've got our song picked. Let's see, the last time we came up four. I was happy with four, to be honest. I had the amount of people that are here. Yeah, so um, we got onto our second drink, so it's, you know, that's going in our favour. Yeah, so I'm getting to the point where I don't care, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Second place goes to Spicy Fans! Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming down. If you can join us, just in. Yeah, I don't really need a way. So we are going to now just keep talking about the fact that we came first. Second. 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 Yeah, second. In the quiz. I really thought we were going to be fourth again. Oh, I thought we were going to be fourth again. I said <laughs> just before they were announcing the things, so I was like, I'm happy with anything, but not four. Yeah. And we fourth didn't. is just annoying, isn't it? So. so we know they're the spicy ones, because look at all the men. Trying to like not get my... You happy? Am I happy? <laughs> How would you describe your spicy vegetarian loaded fries? In Out of this world. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> it's really quiet. This is later than we would normally be out, but... And it's dark, so you can't see very much, but... There's really no one around. Is this what it's like all the time here? When we're, we're, when we're, we're in bed? I was going to say, we wouldn't know, because normally we're in bed. In the winter, we're normally in bed. In the summer, we wouldn't be in bed. We'd be out until much later then. Yeah, but, half nine. But as soon as it goes dark, I'm not, I'm done now. It's really quiet. We're off to the spa this morning, so we have a spa boat from 9 until 12 and then we're going to do a Las Iguanas for lunch. So a few little cocktails and some, some bits to eat, so I'm looking forward to that. So I thought we'd have a little, little glass of Prosecco and a few little croissants for breakfast to get us started. Now I did consider going in and trying to film a few bits, but I thought, well, actually I've already filmed 
stuff in the spa at Woburn before. Woburn Spa is by far the best. So, um, yeah. if you haven't seen what's available in the spa here, maybe check out the video. This video. Ding. This one. <laughs> so take a good look at our look at us now, and then in three hours' time, we'll be like glowing, rejuvenated. Ready? I need to get rid of the toxins. <laughs> All the toxins vanished. Gone. Do you enjoy it? Loved it. The Woburn Spa is just, yeah. Yeah. The best by far. Yeah. We were in there for a full three hours. Did all the rooms. Yeah, feeling very relaxed, which is good. Um, now both in the spa and, and walking around, the site seems really quiet this week. Like it was quite busy over the weekend. And then since changeover, it seems like half the amount of people are on site than they were. I mean, it's only Tuesday. We may find that it's busier and everyone's having a lazy morning or everyone's in the pool. But it does seem really, really quiet at the minute. So we'll see how that carries on. And um, we've also been told, although we've not had a message directly, uh, that the celebration of lights that's due to happen this evening, Tuesday evening, um, down in the Wishlet Village has been cancelled due to forecasted bad weather. So that's unfortunate, not only because of the, uh, the light performers and all of that, but also I was really thinking we might get some fondue later. So if that will still be open now, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Dave, are you gonna kick off? Smashing the pie, so. <laughs> <laughs> but that's later as dinner. But now for lunch, we're heading down to Las Iguanas, which is at the Sports Plaza. And we have got our 25 pounds gift voucher winnings from the quiz yesterday to use towards it. So it should only cost us about two hundred pounds, <laughs> <laughs> and that's only on drinks. Yeah, absolutely. This is where it all goes downhill, people. So just to double check, you're not ordering a burger this time, are you? No, after my um, <laughs> world's most expensive happy meal experience at Las Iguanas in Sherwood Forest, I'm sticking to what I know today, and I'm having something basic, yeah. but I know it'll be good. <laughs> we are like ordering pretty much the same menu that we always have, so you know that we'll be having for the starters, the Brazilian beach cheese. Mmm. And I can't move away from those starters, so yeah. they are so good, both of them, aren't they? And then you're going to have the fajitas, and I am going to have the same as I had last time, because it was so bloody nice. And that's the Brazilian curry, the Apollo con Cura, which is the chicken curry. Mm. And a few cocktails. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so forgive me if I pronounce this wrong, I just had to point when I asked the <laughs> server. It's called a midorite sour, I think. It's got some kind of rum, melon liqueur, lime, citrus, and velvet, falernum. Anyone know idea what that is? I haven't got a clue, but it's a very green drink, yeah. by the way. And mine is a day of the dead. So, cheers. Oh, out. That is strong. Mine's really strong as well. It's nice, though. Yeah, that's nice too. It's here. Oh, <laughs> You're excited? Yeah, I am excited. <laughs> You're going to pet it? I wasn't expecting it to be here so soon. <laughs> I'm being healthy. Green things. Chilies. Yeah. We need some mine as well. Oh. 
got I've just about recovered. How was your heaters? Lovely. You can't really go too far wrong with the heaters, can you? You know that all the stuff comes in the individual parts. The heater fixes yeah. the heater mix. And yeah. you're, not, you're not wearing any? I might be actually, but I can't see that I am right now. And ignoring that, my dinner was very delicious again. I really enjoyed it. Oh, this is nice out here, isn't it? Out here, you can actually get low heated out here at the moment yes. as well because it's not that cold. And I have definitely had enough spice for now after having had that chilli. Oh my, I feel like my lips are like trout pout. Later in the week though, on Thursday evening, which is not thinking about yet, but we will be coming into here to go for Rajinda Pradesh for our last night. Who doesn't love a little Rajinda Pradesh? This terrace is really nice. Like, despite having been here now, what, three times, this is the first time where we've actually come up onto this terrace. I think mean, Dave and I were saying, in the summer, to sit out here, have a little drink, have a little Aperol, watching over everyone. Now we're gonna go for a little walk around, aren't we? Have a little look in the shops. Spend some more money. Oh, what crap oh, are we gonna buy now? But speaking of money. Oh yeah, so we've had really like conflicted information about using your blue lights discount here. Um, I just asked him, that's a guy, and I thought, what's the worst I'm gonna say? And they took money yeah. off the bill. I'm not quite sure if it was 20%, maybe they didn't It was 20% it... off the food. Off the food, okay, 20% off the food. But I mean, we saved 11 quid, it's yeah. not to be a sniffed at. Yeah. Like, all I would say is because of such conflict and information out there, don't come here expecting you're gonna get that yeah. money off. But if you ask and they give it you, then yeah. happy days. And I think people have said the same for the other like ones, the other chains, isn't it? So Bella Italia and Cafe Rouge, I think all maybe offer blue lights outside of centre parks, but it's always variable. Yeah, because we've asked in other restaurants here in the past and we've been told no. Yeah. So who knows what the, a lot of places do say that if it's um, at centre parks, it's excluded. Yes. You know, like all the vouchers, Tesco vouchers, all that stuff. Yeah. So never kind of expect it, but anything they say yes to, it's a bonus. Yes. And the Starbucks do always say yes, don't they? Yes, never been told no at Starbucks. So. But yeah, so that was good, 20% off the bill, and all you had to do was get your Blue Lights app up on your phone and show the QR code, which then they went and scanned, so that yeah. was easy. And we'd obviously paid £5 deposit each per person, so the total amount for the actual bill, including our cocktails, starters, mains, side dish, was £60, £63? Something like that, yeah. So? Um, yeah, it, it could have been worse, yeah. couldn't it, I suppose? But, and we did have the voucher from winning last night, but we thought, oh, you know, with the blue lights discount and all of that, didn't want to complicate things with the voucher, yeah. so we'll just use that later on in the week. Yeah. <sighs> Love a little money savings. Yeah, absolutely. More money to spend in treats. <laughs> but I was thinking more money to go towards Centre Parks booking, but <laughs> there we go. Or holidays in general. We've had a lovely bit of time this afternoon just sitting. I went for a walk around the village square or around the site and then went and sat down by the village square. Um, I don't know what was going on, but they obviously had to drain the rapids at one point. So it was quite interesting. We were sat watching everyone walking past and then that panic of, oh my God, what's going on with the rapids? Hopefully nothing serious. I suspect a code brown, but you know, not confirmed. Uh, but we were just sat there enjoying it, doing some people watching. Turns out people there watching us. So uh, hi to anyone who stopped and said hello to us uh, whilst we were out and about. A few people did say hello and they'd watched videos and we had some brief chats and some nice long chats. So uh, yeah, if you stopped and said hello, I hope you have a good break. Thank you so much for coming over to say hi. And we'll probably see you around for the rest of the week because Woburn isn't that big. But we are now back in Light, light, light. So we're back to another instalment of home cooking with Dave. Well, yes, I'm thinking about setting up a, a baking channel. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight we're making pizzas. Yay, pizza. 
So again, I'm having to like, oh, that's not doubled in size <laughs> like it's supposed to, but. That's what yeah, she said. That's, you know. <laughs> really? Like, no. Really? That's nice. We're classy. So that's not a very good start. No. Pizza bites. But let's see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> And we also don't have a rolling pin, so let's have a look what we're going to use as a rolling pin tonight. <laughs> but we did re remember to bring our pizza tray. This actually, I had a quick look online just because it's actually quite a cheap setup that we've got going on now to look at how much the stuff costs. So look, the actual stuff to make a beat, a, beat, a pizza base um, that serves two costs 90p. No, that's cheap, isn't it? But yeah, one of these. Um, sauce things that cost one pound eighty five, and then I've just got whatever toppings you want. Obviously the cheese. Um, this was on offer actually two for something or the other, but to buy it by itself was two pound fifty five. And yes, it is reduced fat because we are health conscious. Yeah, diet pizza, <laughs> and um, we've we're gonna put some chorizo slices on ours, and I'm gonna have some jalapenos on my side. But the chorizo I'm slices. Not cost a pound so yeah. really this works out to serve two people at about six pound thirty give or take a little bit depending on what toppings the cheese tax the cheese gonna put the cheese tax there you go the cheese tax so like we said you know we are here for seven days and so we i mean we could eat out every day there are lots of nice places to eat out but we did want to enjoy some more time in the lodge, which is what we've done this afternoon. Eat in a little bit more. Uh, we are still going out for dinner. Um, we're going out tomorrow for lunch. We're going back to the Pancake House because there's so much new stuff on the menu. And, and then tomorrow evening, we are hopefully going to be eating in the pool or like eating in the pool area because um, we have got a cabana booked for the first time ever. So. What a rip off that was as well. <laughs> <laughs> Better be good. The dog's looking. He'll oh, be like. Oh, that alarm. Ooh, it's good. So it looks decent to be fair, doesn't it? Yeah. Starlit sky, our love secret line, like leaves we soar so high. Beneath the moonlight, soft touch your hand in mine, gets me every time. Here we go then, Wednesday. If we were here on a Monday to Friday, this would be our midweek point. <sighs> it's, but if it was, it's over halfway through now. <laughs> I don't want to go home. Should we move here? Don't <laughs> In the neon glow, as the leaves change color, I dive in you when some.
So, what's better than one trip to the pancake house? Two, Two. trips to the pancake house. <laughs> I wonder why we put weight on. Mm. <laughs> but just to give a quick review of the drop. Oh my god, I absolutely loved it. Like you know, when you kind of look at it, it it looks fairly high, but it doesn't look like as high as it does when you're actually up there. I mean, the second time going from the top one, I even hesitated and I didn't think I would. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was excellent. Really enjoyed it. So the drop was just over twenty pounds per person. Yeah. And it was about twenty minutes all in all. Yeah. Centre Park's making a lot of money from it. Yeah. But for me, it it was worth it because I really enjoyed it. So. Oh, good. Um, yeah, just quite expensive, I think, if you've got a whole family that you may be paying for. I'm only paying for me, so... Yeah. Oh, well, I'm very proud of you. Yeah. Mm. Well, well done. I'm inspirational, <laughs> aren't I? <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just going to have five. It's, um... It's not quite a time for bed, even though it feels like it. So uh, we went to the pancake house earlier, obviously. Um, it was all right. It was, it was, I don't know if I was short staffed. I don't know what was really going on, but like it definitely wasn't as good as when we went earlier in the week. Yeah, the portion sizes weren't as good either. Like we were saying it's amazing how we've gone within a couple of days of each other and had such different experiences both times yeah. so while i'd seen some negativity and stuff online around it i feel like that's the experience we had second time around but the first time was faultless yeah 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 i mean it could be that they'd seen we've been once already this week and they were like trying to do us a favor i guess giving us yeah. a bit less I can see my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of seeing your boobs though we are now gonna go swimming <laughs> Lucky you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we have got the cabana book. So we've got a four person cabana, which they only do here at Woburn and at Elverdon. And the 6 till 9 pm slot during the week, so the price that we've paid is £59. So still a rip off, but a cheaper rip off. <laughs> well, we, we haven't even been yet. So we yeah. think it might be a rip off, but we haven't been yet. So oh, yeah, look, sorry, I'm probably being a bit closed minded, aren't I? But I, I just think that they're taking the myth. Here we are then, our cabana for this evening. As I said, this is a four-person cabana, and this is Fern. Welcome to cabana. Here you'll find drinks and towels, a TV and a safe. If you find assistance, please speak to a member of staff. Now, uh, you can bring any of your snacks and drinks from the candy bar to your cabana to enjoy. And then what was in the drinks fridge? Well, don't get too excited about this drink selection because oh. <laughs> we have got a grand total of Two bottles of water. Oh, that's exciting, isn't it? One bottle of Pepsi Max Cherry. Oh, and a blackcurrant fruit shoot. Oh, wow! I feel like we're getting our fifty-nine pounds worth already. Absolutely. So there's also a safe here for your valuables. It's a canopy. Menu. Okay, the menu, yeah. Yeah. Cool, we'll be studying that in a second. What does this do? Oh, oh. <laughs> so there is a fan up here. It is doing nothing apart from a bit of ambiance. <laughs> it's really warm in here. It's really, really warm. On the TV. It's obviously like a waterproof type TV, but it looks like a big old iPhone turned on its side. So the Canopy Cafe and Bar serves from 11 till 7 on all days other than changeover days. And on changeover days, it's only from 10 a.m. till 5.30 p.m. So it finishes a bit earlier. But yeah, it looks all right. Burgers, pizzas, nachos, other things. And then you can get soft drinks, hot drinks, beer, cocktails, wine. So good to know that um, whilst you have to go down and order it from the Cabana Cove place, but um, if you're in a Cabana, they will then bring it up to you. And it took no more than five minutes? Yeah, somewhere between five and 10 minutes, I would say, but not, certainly not very long. So we both went for a cheeseburger with some chips because that's what we fancied. But we thought we'd just try something else and got a spicy chicken wrap. Because you know, we haven't eaten enough, so it's all Sustain us whilst I'm going to swim. We are sharing it. We might sink to the bottom, but we're sharing it. Yeah, exactly. So, 
And all of this came to... £24 something. £24 something. So it's lucky that we've got all of those drinks included for free. Yeah, such a bargain, those drinks. <laughs> so, review of the food, which is obviously all gone. Yeah, it was better than I was expecting it to be. Um, so, the burgers were decent sizes, um, delicious. The spicy chicken wrap was lovely. And my favourite part, actually, the chips tasted exactly. You know when you used to go swimming at like your local council leisure centre and you yeah. used to have a cap outside and they used to do chips? Yeah. Those chips were those chips. Yes. Yeah, I'd agree. I really like the chicken wrap. It was a little bit spicy, but not too much. And there was a lot of uh, salad in there, which was good. So I've, I've interrupted watching Emmerdale to uh, get the camera out, but we are all obviously dressed again, having been in the pool. Yeah. It was all right, we went down the rapids a few times. Yeah, the rapids were good fun tonight, actually. Yeah. You know sometimes you just kind of like, you catch it in the right moments when you're going down. It was yeah. like that tonight, weren't it? Yeah, yeah. So, our thoughts on the cabana. I'll say mine first, because you know his is going to be. Um, I think for £59 for a three hour session in the evening, but what's included is an absolute rip-off. I mean, I think there's some cheek in charging what they do for what they give you. It wouldn't take, I don't think it would take very much to kind of elevate the offering to make it a bit more worthwhile, but like two bottles of water, one Pepsi Max and one kids drink is what they, you know, when they, can, when they say, you know, cold drinks are included, and just like the fact when you get here, you have to like walk all the way through down to sort of the main hut, which is right down the other side, to then be told, oh, you're in a cabana right up here, and then you have to go back down to order your food. Like, you know, there should be some better way of getting checked in and some better way of ordering things. Like, we've had cabanas elsewhere and really enjoyed the experience and felt like, oh, it was a nice treat. This feels like money could be spent better elsewhere, I think. So basically, I was right. <laughs> He's been dying to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We'll just yeah. wait because we know it's gonna. <laughs> the drinks, I think, is a joke. I think, as a minimum, there should be four bottles of water in there, and then there should be, like, you know, two Pepsi Max cherries and two fruit shoots or whatever. The fact that like the bottles of water, there isn't even enough for a, a bottle of water for everybody who would potentially be in the cabana. Yeah. I just think is a bit, um, you know, is extremely tight at this price point. Yeah. And like you say, they could they need to do some little things to try and make it feel a bit more luxury. Um, yeah. Because I don't really know what you're paying for, other than basically some reserved chairs with like a umbrella at the yeah. top. Like you know. I mean, what we what we have said is. We could see how for some people, so if you're a big group and you've got young babies or, you know, there may be very particular reasons why getting a cabana is the right thing for your group. For us as two adults where we generally just come swimming and we don't sit on the side, you know, on a chair watching anything. We're like, we're in the water We've or we're gone. We've never done that, have yeah. we? You never, so, um, yeah. So, you know, for us this time, the only kind of positive is it gave us somewhere to sit and eat our food and to do a bit of filming but would not spend money on a cabana again. No. Ever. No. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Now, if you've done a cabana and you think we've got it wrong uh, because of any particular reason, do let us know in the comments. You know, tell us what your sort of reasoning is or circumstances. But for us, yeah, we wouldn't waste our money on it again. Yeah, 60, I'd like to be enlightened. Yeah, six, like £59, £60. That's a, that's a meal of agenda. Yeah. Thankfully, that's what we're doing tomorrow anyway, so. Yeah. But now we are dressed and we are still inside the subtropical swimming paradise. It's a bit warm. Yeah. So we're going to get out. Yeah. Got to pick a mix back at the lunch yeah. and treats. So that was about 60 that. pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Fern. Fern, Fern Britain. It's our last full day. I feel sad. I know. Uh, it's it's very depressing. 
So a slight change of plan for this afternoon. We had booked to go and do the encounter with owls, which we'd not done before, and we thought we would give it a try. However, the weather is like quite grim. Um, so we were thinking it might get cancelled anyway, because I'm assuming it is outside. Um, and then Dave feels like he's fighting off a cold or a bit of uh, lurgy. So we thought we would cancel that. We'll have some lunch in the lodge, and then we'll see how we feel. Because if there's one thing we are definitely not cancelling, it's the gender. Well, I won't be. You'd have to carry me in there almost dead to <laughs> stop me from eating it. <laughs> oh, it's a tiny little one. Oh, look, it's trying to get the... Yeah. Like... And there we go, the final evening is upon us. I said earlier that Dave was feeling a bit unwell and he is still not very well, are you? No, I'm not feeling too great at all. But you know what? It's the last day of holiday, so at least it didn't happen earlier on in the week. Yeah. It's fine. Yep. Now I did offer or suggest we could do restaurant runner instead, or I could get something from the park market to cook, but Dave was like, there is no way in hell that I'm missing out on Rajinder Pradesh. And I completely agree. It's also for our wedding anniversary tomorrow that we're going <laughs> yeah. out, we're going to be driving home. So, yeah, yeah we, um, we should make the effort to go, really. Yeah. God, there's definitely a baby in there. <laughs> yes. So we've just had a very tasty meal in Rajinder Pradesh, as we always do. Yeah, lovely. So we had the Pobodam starter for two, not four, two. We had a starter each. You have a chicken tikka. Yeah, pretty delicious. Yeah. And I had the lamb shish kebab, as I had last time. It was very nice. And then I had the speciality lamb shank. I'm all lambed out now, but it was really good. And you had your chicken bowl tea? Yeah, I always have the same thing. It's it's easy, and I've got allergies, so I, I know where I stand with yeah. that. So all in all, a delicious meal, excellent service, cannot complain, apart from the fact I feel so full. There's just room for pudding. Sports bar? Yeah. So we're going down, we, we could have had pudding here. We did have a pudding menu obviously in Virginia, but we decided we would go back down to the sports cafe and get something there. And have one last drink before we go back to a lodge for our last night. <laughs> it's bed actually when yeah. we get there. Yeah, sort of an open window I think. <laughs> it's very late for us to be out, it's nearly eight o'clock. What? And there we go, that has been seven days at Centre Park's Woven Forest our longest Centre Parks break so far. I still don't want to go home. No, <laughs> no. Could get quite used to this life. <laughs> but that has come to an end, so the beds are stripped. We're just getting ready to load the car up. But it's been an amazing time. So um, obviously at the start of the week, we were like, oh, you know, it'd be good to see how it is. And also I was very um, aware that I had recently described this as being my least favorite way, uh, Centre Park site. Yeah. There's just something about Woburn. I feel like the more times we visit, the more it, like, I enjoy it and the more I grow to like what's different about it yeah. compared to the other centre parks. You can tell that I've done all the editing and you haven't because you said Windfell was your least favourite. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there we go. Yeah. I love Windfell as well. So. <laughs> Yeah, so, there, so having been back here again, so this is the third time that we've been here, there are some things that do like let it down or that don't stand up as much. The, swim, the size of the swimming pool. Yeah, the, the swimming pool is by far the worst. Yeah, but there's also been loads of nice and good things this week, including just the fact that we've been able to slow down and just relax. We've enjoyed spending more time in the lodge. And the lodges here are really nice. They're obviously a newer design. 
I would say the best. Yeah. Yeah, of all the parks. So, swimming pool, down there, lodges, up yeah. there. But it has also been loads of good things, including the service. So we had really good service again yesterday, both in Reginda and in the um, sports cafe. We're going to make sure we kind of leave good staff feedback for people. Yeah, and do you know what we? Because in the past we've forgotten who the like the names of people who have given good service. So now we've actually taken to like messaging each other on WhatsApp so that it's like recorded. Because like, oh, what was that person's name? What was that person's name? At least we. We know, and if people like go out, people are quick enough to complain about things. So people have done a good job. It's just something nice, isn't it, to yeah. be able to to yeah. do that. So coming for a week is not cheap. I mean, coming at this time of the year has been a lot cheaper than if we were here for a week in the summer or later in the year. And we were looking, and it's actually said um, the next time we are back here because we have got another break, but to come back here hopefully later in the year for the weekend is more expensive than the full week has been now. But that is a different lodge, that is a bigger lodge. But this is a two-bedroom executive lodge, and the lodge that we're coming back to is a three-bedroom executive lodge with sauna. So it's not like it's a massive step up. When you think we've paid the same for... Well, we've paid less for a week than you would for a week. And in October, it's mental, isn't it? I think we got a good price on this. I booked it literally as soon as these holidays were released, and very soon after, the price started going up. So... We didn't get any money back on the comeback soon after this time, which yeah. is unusual, actually. Yeah. Nowadays. Yeah. What actually I thought was interesting was previously, like during COVID times, you would get like a bag dropped off midweek, even on like a Monday to Friday break, you know, like with some extra little bits and stuff in there. Um, for the week break, the only thing we had dropped off was some extra towels. Like I thought they might have kind of like replenished, replenished some dishwasher tablets. Toilet like, rolls. Maybe some toilet rolls. I know it's self-catering, but you get a toilet, a toilet roll when you first come into the accommodation, don't yeah. you? But we, and like, even like a clean tea towel, we brought our own actually, so it wasn't a big problem. But I just think if you're paying for almost two breaks together, they should just drop you off a little bag of supplies on the... Um... Yeah, yeah, I think so. But there we go. So we are going to get finished and get go and get the car, get packed up and head away. If you've watched the whole of this video, thank you so much for sticking in through till now. Uh, we'll be back very soon with some more um, trips. Our next trip is not to Centre Parks, but it's very similar. So thank you so much for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> yes. Goodbye. Goodbye, peasants. <laughs> peasants. No one's a peasant here, apart from us. <laughs> Every time I go around it, it's squeezing my bollocks. <laughs> but we couldn't think of anything. And we put it out on Instagram, and the replies were shit. So. <laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> Am I happy? <laughs> Your ass, I'll wait for you. <laughs> I need to get rid of all the toxins with the alcohol and the cheese. There was half, huh? Fucking dog. <laughs>